Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing my 28 week pregnancy update. And I am officially to my third trimester and that is just so crazy. I can't believe I'm so far into this pregnancy. It seems to just be flying by so fast, way faster than Sophia's pregnancy was. Once I hit my third trimester, which I think is 27 weeks, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you hit your third trimester at 27 weeks. But once I realized it was in my third trimester, I've just been really trying to slow down and just really savor all the little baby kicks and having a huge belly and all these things because I won't ever have like three more months. And that's just insane and a little sad and very exciting. But yeah, just kind of mixed feelings about how fast the end of my pregnancy is, is coming up. This week, the baby is the size of a large eggplant, and I now weigh 180 pounds, so I've gained a total of 40 pounds since the beginning of my pregnancy, which seems like a lot, but I'm feeling pretty good for being in my third trimester, and I know that I gain a lot of weight, so I am just not worried about it. I really, I wouldn't even weigh myself if I didn't do these videos and want to tell you guys when I weigh, but I just wouldn't even weigh myself because as long as I'm feeling good, I I just don't, I'm not even concerned about how, how much I'm gaining because I know I'll lose it right away. Demetrius is so active and he's moved up finally. I'm so happy that he's moved up. It's so much more comfortable, but since he moved up, I can really tell how active he is. I guess for some reason I couldn't quite feel all of the kicks and everything when he was so like down low into my pelvis. But now that he's up further, I feel him constantly. So busy, and especially at night, it's just crazy. Like he just like it feels like he's trying to run. It's really really cool <laughs> to feel that. Now that he's moved up, he kicks where Sophia used to kick all the time, which is over here on my right side, like up by my ribs, and that's where he kicks a lot of the time now, which is really cool to like feel that again. It's really a familiar feeling because that's like the only place Sophia would kick me. It was really strange. She just like liked her one position and she never moved. So it's kind of fun to have like a familiar feeling to like connect how the pregnancies are similar. I will say though that since he has moved up, I've been out of breath a lot more often. And it was funny because when he first moved up and stayed there, it like took my lungs a little bit to get adjusted. And I was just like so out of breath all the time. And it's getting a little bit better, like they're kind of adjusting to him being where he's supposed to be. But yeah, it's a little harder to breathe. I've been having really bad round ligament cramps at night especially. It's mostly when I've been laying on one side too long, like several hours in a row, and then it starts to cramp. I don't know why it cramps if I've been laying there too long, and my hip starts to ache to roll myself over, it cramps up really bad, and then, yeah, it's, it's a production to roll over at night. Like, that's, that's for sure. It's probably pretty entertaining to watch. And last night, he was in this funny position where he had his like head down, he had his butt like way over here, and his feet were up here. And I was laying on this side, and so he was just like sitting. And he kept like cramming his bottom like into my side so hard, it felt like he was like trying to get out. But it was like right on my round ligament, and so it was making it cramp really bad, and like it didn't move. And so I was like trying to push him, like move over so I can roll over him. It was pretty funny. My varicose veins have been very uncomfortable. I think it was last Sunday, they got to the point where I just really couldn't stand up. I just had to sit and lay down. I'm so thankful that it was on a Sunday when Luke was home so he could take care of Sophia, but it just felt like they were going to explode and that my uterus was going to fall out. Like it just was so much pressure and uncomfortableness and it was just terrible. And they get like that when I walk too much or have too much activity or something and then if, if they get inflamed it's just like bad for the rest of the day and it helps to ice it but once they get to that point even like icing will help for a little bit they kind of like sh shrink down after icing but then they after like half an hour they're like right back where they were so if you guys have any advice on things I can do for varicose veins, and by the way, they are in like the worst spot I could possibly imagine them being in. Like I would so much rather have them on my leg. But like really, you're gonna be right on my lady bits? Like why, <laughs> why? I had never even heard of them being there until my midwife said, that's why it's uncomfortable you have varicose veins. And I was like, well, that makes sense. But, if you have any advice on this, like as I'm getting further into my pregnancy, they're getting more uncomfortable. And I know that in later pregnancies, they're gonna be worse and just 
get worse with every pregnancy. So I'm a little bit concerned about that because they are already like can get pretty painful sometimes. So I definitely need to find something to ease that a little bit. And I'm guessing I'll probably have to get them removed at some point, probably in between pregnancies at some point, because if they get much worse, I, I don't know, I'm gonna be like bedridden for an entire pregnancy and have like a bunch of kids running around, so yeah. But other than the varicose veins, I've been feeling really good. My stomach's not so massive that it's feeling stretched out and dry skin yet. I've just been really enjoying how much he kicks and how big I'm getting and all this stuff. Also, now that I'm in my third trimester and realizing how close I am getting, I'm like starting to get more stuff prepared. I've been doing more freezer meals. We're getting my baby shower all planned out so that we can actually have it before he could like get here because I kind of want to have all this stuff here and ready. I have most of the baby stuff because I just had a baby. But there are a few things that I still need and some things that Sophia needs and that he'll take her old thing like the car seat, like she'll move up to the car seat and he'll take her old car seat, just things like that. But just trying to get as prepared as I can because it's coming up quick and it's pretty crazy. I've just been thinking over my birth plan a lot and praying a lot about it going smoothly. I guess it's probably because I hemorrhaged with Sophia that I'm just a little bit concerned about hemorrhaging again and since it's my second labor, I'm worried that it'll happen faster than Sophia's and my midwife may possibly not get here in time because she's an hour away. I'm hoping my labor's at least a little over an hour. <laughs> it probably will be, but you never know. And so I am really glad that I'm going back in at 30 weeks to get my placenta checked again because if I know my placenta is at least up where it's supposed to be, that'll be one less thing for me to be concerned about with how the labor's gonna go at home. A few weeks ago, I had been having a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions, which is normal for me when I was pregnant with Sophia. I started getting them around, uh, before 20 weeks. It was pretty early and I had them through the entire rest of my pregnancy. I would have at least one Braxton Hicks contraction a day. But the last couple weeks, they've stopped and I haven't had any, which is strange. I keep like waiting for them to, like they're not uncomfortable. I can, I can definitely tell they're happening because my stomach feels like a rock, but it's just really interesting that they've stopped and that didn't happen with Sophia's and so I'll be interested to see when they start up again. But let's show you guys the bump. So here's the bump. It's it definitely, it's definitely way bigger and you can't tell that he's moved up. It's, it's like sticking out further this way rather than just being really big down here. I'm really glad that he's moved up. He's still lower than Sophia was when I was pregnant with her at this point, but it's definitely way more comfortable. And yes, I'm wearing sweatpants because I'm just at home today and I don't care. My belly button is sticking out a lot. I feel like it's getting really big and I'm so excited about it. I love being pregnant. I hope you guys enjoyed this 28 week pregnancy update. I think that's all for this video. I really feel like I'm forgetting something. Probably not. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.